Tonight, once the Archbishop blesses the Easter fire and lights the Paschal candle, we will make our way into the church. And I would ask you, in great silence, to make your way into the church directly through the main door, as well as the mercy door will be open, and the handicap door will be open as well. So if we can enter by the three entrances, we can do that quickly, we can do that safely. And then you will light your Christ candle from the main candle as the deacon comes through with the Paschal candle. Also, I would ask you that when you sit down for the readings, that you blow out the candle. Blow out the candle during the readings. Después de la bendición del fuego, y el sirio pascual, vamos a entrar en la iglesia en la oscuridad. Entramos por la puerta principal y también por la puerta de la misericordia y también para la puerta de los inválidos. Pero la iglesia está oscura. So, entran con cuidado. Durante el momento de las lecturas, por favor, apagan sus velitas. Por favor. Bienvenidos. Muy buenas noches a todos las personas que nos están sintonizando a esta hora. Nos encontramos transmitiendo totalmente en vivo a través del Facebook Live de Radio Paz. Le damos la más cordial bienvenida a todas las personas que se van sumando a esta transmisión. Cuando son exactamente las 7 y 56 minutos de la noche, nos encontramos transmitiendo en, justo en la entrada principal de la Catedral de Santa María en Miami, donde a continuación se está haciendo la hoguera para la posterior bendición del fuego el día de hoy, sábado de gloria. El Padre Marino acababa de dar las instrucciones a todos los feligreses que entrarán a la iglesia la noche de hoy sobre las medidas de seguridad y por supuesto la conducta adecuada que debe mantenerse durante la ceremonia. En este momento están explicando todo cómo sería el proceso de encendido y bendición posterior del de fuego. Está previsto que la ceremonia se inicie a las 8 de la noche en punto. Recordamos pues que mediante esta ceremonia se hace la bendición del fuego y posterior encendido del cirio pascual. También recordamos, queridos amigos, queridos hermanos, que pueden compartir la transmisión de Facebook a través de sus amigos, a través de su grupo y, e informar y llevar esta transmisión a todas las personas que no tienen la oportunidad de acompañarnos esta noche desde la Catedral de Santa María en Miami. Repetimos en unos instantes, eh, daremos inicio a la ceremonia presidida por el arzobispo de Miami, Monseñor Tomás Winsky. Invitamos pues a que también puedan compartir la transmisión con sus familiares, con sus amigos e informarles. Solo deben hacer clic en el botón a mano derecha abajo en compartir publicación y pueden estar llevando el mensaje, pueden estar llevando esa transmisión a todos sus amigos, a todos sus compañeros, inclusive que se encuentren fuera de los Estados Unidos o en nuestros países adyacentes. Solo estamos a esperas a minutos del inicio de esta ceremonia, transmitiendo en vivo Radio Paz desde la Catedral de Santa María en Miami. Vemos cómo se ha venido acercando gran cantidad de personas de la zona, integrantes de la parroquia y feligreses. Cuando en este momento suenan las, las campanas de la iglesia indicando que son las 8 de la noche en punto.
A su entrada, Monseñor Tomás Wensky. sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life. The church calls upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal solemnity in this way, listening to his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and living with him in God. Let us pray. O God, who through your Son bestowed upon the faithful the fire of your glory, sanctify this new fire and grant that by these paschal celebrations we may be so inflamed with heavenly desires that with minds made pure we may obtain the festivities of unending splendor through Christ our Lord. the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. All time belongs to him and all the ages. To him be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. Amen. By his holy and glorious wounds, may Christ the Lord guard us and protect us. May the light of Christ rising in glory dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds.
en estos momentos, queridos hermanos, toda la iglesia se encuentra totalmente a oscuras a través de la representación del encendido del Sirio Pascual. En este momento la luz va a empezar a llegar a toda la iglesia. Entraremos en procesión para acompañar a la luz que está entrando a la iglesia como la luz que vence las tinieblas. Vamos a ubicar una mejor posición para poderles mostrar cómo poco a poco irá entrando la luz dentro de la oscuridad en la catedral. se encuentra en oscuridad en la entrada principal se encuentra el sirio pascual e encendido
accept this candle, a solemn offering, the work of bees and of your servants' hands, an evening sacrifice of praise, this gift from your most holy church. But now we know the praises of this pillar, which glowing fire ignites for God's honor, a fire into many flames divided, yet never dimmed by sharing of its light. For it is fed by melting wax, drawn out by mother bees, to build a torch so precious. Oh, truly blessed night, when things of heaven are wed to those of earth, and divine to the human. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray you, that this candle, hallowed to the honor of your name, may persevere undimmed to overcome the darkness of this night. Receive it as a pleasing fragrance, and let it mingle with the light of heaven. May this flame be found still burning by the morning star. The one morning star who never sets, Christ your Son, who, coming back from death's domain, has shed his peaceful light on humanity and lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the Word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved His people, and in these, the last days, has sent us His Son as our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this Paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the earth. God created man in his image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have, dom have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food. And to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made and found it very good.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who are wonderful in the ordering of all your works, may those you have redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvelous than the world's creation in the beginning, except that at the end of the ages, Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Lectura del Libro del Éxodo En aquellos días dijo el Señor a Moisés ¿Por qué sigues clamando a mí? Di a los israelitas que se pongan en marcha Y tú, alza tu callado Extiende tu mano sobre el mar y divídelo Para que los israelitas lo crucen en seco Yo Voy a endurecer el corazón de los egipcios para que los persigan y me cubriré de gloria a costa del faraón y de todo su ejército, de sus carros y de sus guerreros. Sabrán los egipcios que yo soy el Señor cuando me haya cubierto de gloria a costa del faraón, de sus carros y de los guerreros. Se puso en marcha el ángel del Señor, que iba al frente del ejército de Israel, y cambió a la retaguardia. También la columna de nube de delante se desplazó de allí y se colocó detrás, poniéndose entre el campamento de los egipcios y el campamento de los israelitas. La nube era tenebrosa y transcurrió toda la noche sin que los ejércitos pudieran trabar contacto. Moisés extendió su mano sobre el mar y el Señor hizo soplar durante toda la noche un fuerte viento del este que secó el mar y se dividieron las aguas. Los israelitas los egipcios se lanzaron en su persecución, entrando tras ellos en medio del mar, todos los caballos del faraón y los carros con sus guerreros. Y extendió Moisés su mano sobre el mar, y al amanecer volvía el mar a su curso de siempre. Los egipcios, huyendo, iban a su encuentro, y el Señor derribó a los egipcios en medio del mar. Y volvieron las aguas y cubrieron los carros, los jinetes y todo el ejército del faraón, que los había seguido por el mar. Ni uno solo se salvó, pero los hijos de Israel caminaban por lo seco en medio del mar. Las aguas les hacían muralla a la derecha e izquierda. Aquel día, el Señor salvó a Israel de las manos de Egipto. Israel dio a los egipcios muertos en la orilla del mar. Israel dio la mano grande del Señor obrando contra los egipcios. Y el pueblo temió al Señor y creyó en el Señor y en Moisés, su siervo. Entonces, Moisés y los hijos de Israel cantaron un cántico al Señor. Cantemos al Señor, sublime es su victoria. Caballo y jinete han arrojado en el mar.
Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the New Testament have unlocked the meaning of wonders worked in former times, so that the Red Sea prefigures the sacred font, and the nation delivered from slavery foreshadows the Christian people. Grant, we pray, that all nations, obtaining the privilege of Israel by merit of faith, may be reborn by partaking of your spirit through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, All you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come to receive grain and eat. Come without paying and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend money for what is not bread? Your wages for what fails to satisfy. Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me headfully. Listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. As I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and a commander of nations, so shall you summon a nation you knew not and nations that knew you not shall run to you. Because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, who has glorified you, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way, and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy. To our God, who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. For just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it futile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I send it.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, sole hope of the world, who by the preaching of your prophets unveiled the mysteries of this present age, graciously increase the longing of your people, for only at the prompting of your grace do the faithful progress in any kind of virtue, through Christ our Lord. sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection. Stir up in your church a spirit of adoption so that renewed in body and mind we may render you undivided service through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
mon sur la Bible ça a sorti dans les Paul qui sait écrit Romeo. Frémio, Sémio. Est-ce que nous pas connaît nous tout qui baptisé dans Jésus-Christ, c'est dans la mort qui nous baptisé. Nous t'ai enterré à lui dans la mort grâce à baptême non. De quoi pour même Jean-Christ l'a levé sorti parmi moi grâce à pouvoir papa, nous même tous nous capables vivre la vie tout neuf. Réellement vrai, si nous faisons un acte dans la mort, tant pour la mort par là, nous faisons un acte de tout dans le vie bien vivant, tant pour par là. Nous comptons ça. Nous longtemps, nous longtemps qui nous nous clouons sous quoi Acte pour quoi péché a détruit Pour nous pas esclaves péché encore. Réellement vrai, yon moun ki mouri, li fin de livre en bas péché. Si nous mouri à Christ là, nous kwe na vivre ensemble à Christo. Nous connaît le vrai Christ là le vrai sorti parmi moyo, li pa mouri encore, la mort pa commander sous li encore. C'est comme ça, moun li mouri, mouri li mouri, c'est pour péché à li mouri, yon fwa pou Vive la vive la, c'est pour bon Dieu la vive. Quand ça tout, gardez tête nous tant pour le monde qui mourit pour pécher, mais qu'à vivre pour bon Dieu dans Jésus-Christ.
the Sabbath was over. Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, and Salome bought spices so that they may go and anoint him. Very early when the sun had risen on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in white robe, and they were utterly amazed. He said to them, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter, He is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him, as he told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Christ is risen, and his resurrection from the dead cast a decisive light on all that preceded it. Now, in the light of the resurrection, Jesus' words and the words of the prophets who preceded him are understood with a new clarity. His miracles through which he healed the sick, gave sight to the blind, and even raised the dead even his boldness in forgiving sins acquire an even greater significance. The cross, once rightly regarded as an instrument of cruel torture and shame, is now revealed as the tree of life. From now on, we can understand that embracing the cross, we are not robbed of life but instead we find true life. Life is redeemed for all its sorrows, its pains and its disappointments. Life has meaning. For Easter convinces us that not only Jesus is risen, but that we too will rise as well with him. Our Christian faith is born not so much from the acceptance of a doctrine, but from an encounter with a person, with Christ, who once was dead but now is risen. That same Christ who will encounter the woman who came to the womb, to the tomb, is the same Christ who encounters us today in his word and sacrament. Jesus is not just a character from a distant past. He's not a historical personage as others have been. For he is not remembered in the same way 
as the great men and heroes who lived long ago. We might talk about them and about their deeds, but we cannot talk to them or befriend them. Jesus, however, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He lives. Having broken the chains of death, he walks before us as one who is alive. And he calls us to follow him, the living one. And he invites us to enter into a relationship of friendship with him. In this way, we discover the path of true life, the life that is always new because it will never die. Through our baptism into his death and resurrection, we have died with Christ so as to become alive in him. And living in Christ, we are called to witness to all that he has done. And our witness should always be a joyful one. As Christians still living in this world, we will experience all manner of trials and tribulations. The sufferings of Christ do not exempt us from suffering ourselves. But his sufferings, seen in the light of his resurrection, give meaning and hope to our own. And so, even suffering does not take away our joy in the future promise of our own resurrection. Indeed, joy is a sign that we have been with the Lord. And this joy comes not only from following God's law, but from knowing God in his son, Jesus Christ. It comes from experiences, experiencing his mercy and grace and sharing in his divine life. Our witness will be that much more credible if it is joyful. Our joy allows God to smile through us and thus bring renewed hope to the world. En el don de la Pascua se encuentran las exigencias de la Pascua. Si habéis resucitado con Cristo, busquen las cosas de arriba, nos dice San Pablo. La vida entera de Jesús fue formado por su obediencia a su Padre. Y para nosotros vivir en Cristo significa que nunca vamos a permitir que las cosas de este mundo nos distraigan de la verdadera finalidad de nuestra existencia. Debemos tratar de hacer la voluntad de Dios en todas las cosas. Incluso en las cosas aparentemente más triviales. Pero haciendo la voluntad de Dios y siguiendo los mandamientos no nos privan de la alegría. Es lo que hace posible la verdadera alegría. Para Maximio, yo de hace fiesta de fiesta de que de morir et qu'il est bien vivant. Nous-mêmes qui nous allons, nous débaptiser dans la mort, et nous allons lever bien vivant. C'est ça qui fait que nous content. Malgré toute difficulté, nous allons joindre la vie. Mais nous allons la vie tout neuf pas là. La vie tout neuf, Jésus m'a donné à lever les levées, nous jouons exigence par la tour. 
Paul qui est saint, dit non. Si vous êtes levé, vous êtes vivant ensemble avec Christ là, cherchez ça qui est en roi. Même Jacques Jésus, font toujours chercher, faire volonté, papa, dans toute bagaille. And the gift of Easter lies the demands of Easter. St. Paul tells us, if you were raised with Christ, seek what is above. Jesus' whole life was shaped by his obedience to his Father. And for us to live in Christ means that we will never allow the things of this world to distract us from the true purpose and goal of our existence. We must seek to do God's will in all things, even in the seemingly most mundane things. But doing God's will and following the commandments does not deprive us of joy, but it is what makes true joy possible. Dearly beloved, with one heart and soul, let us by our prayers come to the aid of these, our brothers and sisters, and their blessed hopes so that as they approach the font of rebirth, the Almighty may bestow upon them all his merciful help.
Almighty, ever-living God, be present by the mysteries of your great love, and send forth the spirit of adoption to create the new peoples, brought to birth for you in the font of baptism, so that what is to be carried out by our humbly service may be brought to fulfillment by your almighty power, through Christ our Lord. O oh God, who by invisible power accomplish a wonderful effect through sacramental signs and who in many ways have prepared water, your creation, to show forth the grace of baptism. O oh God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the water so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O oh God, who by the outpouring of the flood foreshadowed regeneration, so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and a beginning of virtue. O oh God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea, so that the chosen people set free from slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the baptized. O oh God, whose son baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side, along with blood. And after his resurrection, commanded his disciples, go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church, and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water received by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of life of old may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children, the water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this font, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into his death may rise again to life with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Humans, I am now. I'll pray. I now ask you to make your profession of faith. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? Do you reject Satan and all his works and empty his promises? Do you believe in God the Father, almighty creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church? Do, the, do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? It is your will then that you be baptized in the faith that you have just professed with us. Jerry, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, it is your will that you be baptized in the faith of the Church we have just professed with you. 
Leonard, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Anthony, it is your will to be baptized in the faith that we profess with you. Anthony, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Receive the light of Christ. Receive the light of Christ. Receive the light of Christ. Dear friends, to the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may rise with him to newness of life. Now that we have com com completed our Lenten observance, let us renew the promises we made in baptism when we rejected Satan and his works and promised to serve God faithfully in his holy Catholic Church. Do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting.
the all-powerful Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and forgiven all our sins. May he also keep us faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever. and sisters, let us pray to God, the Almighty Father, for these newly adopted sons, born again in the sacrament of baptism, that he will graciously now pour out upon them the Holy Spirit to confirm them in his abundant gifts, and through his anointing, conform them more fully to Christ, the Son of God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought these your servants to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin. Send upon them, O Lord, the Holy Spirit to paraclete. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety. Fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord, through Christ our Lord. sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Sealed to get the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.
sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may, by the working of your power, bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this night, above all, to laud you more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for his true Lamb, who has taken us into the world, by dying has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, with passive joy, every and every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices which we offer you personally for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis our Pope, and with me, your unworthy servant, and all those who holding to the truth and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all who are gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, for they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred night of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord and God Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service 
that of your whole family which we make to you. Also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have been chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven. To you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also Lord your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, our be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. A la chance pour mon saillot, Jésus lui devait manger, manger ça. Mais Jésus m'a tant bon Dieu, qui wete péché sous terre. Lord, I am not worthy to show my heart. I say the word of my soul.
body of Christ.
Let us pray. Pour out upon us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this Paschal Sacrament, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Queridos hermanos en la Radio Paz, queridos amigos, agradeciendo su sintonía en esta transmisión especial realizada desde la Catedral de Santa María en Miami. Queremos agradecerles a todos ustedes que compartieron con nosotros durante esta transmisión especial. Queremos agradecerles por seguir ahí, por ayudarnos a compartir esta gran noticia, este evangelio a través de las redes sociales. Muchísimas gracias a todos los que han compartido durante esta transmisión de casi ya dos horas desde el inicio de esta celebración de Sábado de Gloria. Queremos, como siempre, pues invitarlos a que continúen en sintonía de Radio Paz 830 AM y también que nos sintonicen a través de todas nuestras transmisiones especiales que realizaremos durante esta semana ya finalizando el día de mañana en el Domingo de Resurrección y que estén pendientes a través de todas nuestras redes sociales para que estén atentos a todas las transmisiones que estaremos realizando. Bendiciones en Cristo. Señoras y señores, Jesús ha resucitado. Feliz Pascua de Resurrección para todos ustedes. Bendiciones y muy buenas noches. Fin de la transmisión.